What's going on guys, Adam here, also known as Varaf. Welcome to a brand new reaction video where we're going to be looking at Violet. I just got home, um, I actually haven't seen too, too much. I haven't seen the trailer at all, but I do know that it is Bailiff that is confirmed to be within Fire Emblem 3 Houses. I would be lying if I didn't know, or if I told you guys I didn't know. And I want to make these reaction videos as genuine as possible. I'm going to react to the video now. I'll give my thoughts and opinions about how I feel about this DLC character after I actually watch the DLC. And uh, then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it and, you know, make sure that everything is smooth and nice and is great. So without further ado, guys, let's just jump right into it. Alrighty, and three, two, one, let's check it out. Yup, three houses. You can see Violet standing in the middle over there. I believe this is a cutscene that was ripped the out of the game. Has finally the come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. <laughs> yup, I remember this. I remember. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's trap? As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. Mm -hmm. In time, I remember this. I remember our this hearts whole and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? <clears throat> I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. You must join Smash. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's actually funny. Join Smash Brothers already. What in the world are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, okay. Some for saying the right words. That's crazy. Byleth, join so Smash. So joining House. Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Ooh. There's all the Fire Emblem characters. Oh, Dorothea in the background with the uh, Edelgard I saw. You got Dimitri. That's fun. My apologies. So you oh, came back again. Sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? And you? You wield the sword as well? What will you do? <laughs> huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. So, so yeah, female Byleth. Just like every single other Fire Emblem character, we've had a male and female variant. Except for Roy. Roy's the only one I believe. And, and, uh, how is No, Marsh has um, Lucina. I count. Violet recruits. Violet? Oh, she has more weapons. Have anyone? Okay, yeah, we can't use more weapons. Okay. We can use all the relics. I'm assuming. With arid fire, strike with superior reach. Use Amir's overwhelming power. Unleash the blinding speed of Fail Not! <laughs> Along with the Sword of the Creator, mm -hmm. each weapon matches a direction. Oh, it's a direction. Boo boo. I thought it was gonna be like a stance change, like salt type of thing. Your will and mine be now as one! Those things, Dan. To you, both sides of time are revealed! Through Smash! Show the world. <laughs> eh. <laughs> what the heck? 
<laughs> Sakurai did it on purpose. Did you see yes. a smirk? He did that on purpose. He said, yup, I added them. They're in the game. I know you're mad. Ah, that was the, I know you're mad look. I, oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, just for that amount, I'm not going to react to the rest of this video. I'm just going to give my opinions, thoughts, comments, get that out the way. So, before this direct came out for uh, Smash Brothers, there was a lot of speculations that we were going to be getting different characters. And especially since, like, when you looked at the past of the fighter's past, it was just like, oh, you got, like, all these brand new characters that are or that were never introduced into smash whether it was their game or something else like they like their game series has never been introduced to smash joker there's no persona representation in smash bros there's no banjo representation etc 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 and so like seeing the first four dlcs out of the smash pass it was just like yeah this makes sense that you would add only guest characters within this patch or within this fighting pack i feel like Byleth could have been announced earlier like you know like if he was the third one and banjo was the last one or if he was the third one and you know uh, persona joker was the last one it would just be a little bit better in my opinion personally because it's just like it's one of those things where it's like we know nintendo characters can still be added into the game and that's not a problem for us we're fully aware that you guys can add your first party ips my thing is that uh to 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 go so dark like they didn't reveal anything they didn't tease nothing for like three four months and then all of a sudden it becomes another fire emblem sword wielding character oh boy it's in the game by the thing in the game i i will i will admit i like Byleth's render it looks good it looks awesome but at the same time it's just like Byleth could have came earlier and we could have had such much like or we could have had much bigger more hyped up moments if Byleth came a little bit earlier and yeah I know it's not how dev time works it's not how like things work or announcements work but at the same time it's one of those things where it's like this feels too safe to do uh for me personally especially since like you got a bunch of other great guest characters in the game and it's just kind of disappointing that this is the last one i wouldn't be so mad if they showed this off as the second the third the fourth but like it's i'm not even mad i'm not even like man i'm kind of happy that byleth's in the game at the same time though i'm not hyped that byleth's in the game because it's just like an easy win like can you imagine if dante was in the game like tracer was in the game sora in the game right now like shoreza from bayonetta like it, it would have been I, I feel like, to me personally, I feel like that would have been a much better, much more interesting amount of characters in the game. Like, if we imagine we got Tifa, or we got some representation, even Master Chief being in the game as the last DLC fighter is amazing. It's great. Uh, I already know, I'm already well aware that, yeah, there's going to be six more new characters within the game. But same time, though, it's just like, this could have either... A been pushed to be the first character within the Fires Pass 2, or B it should have been brought out earlier so that they would be able to, you know, hype us a little bit more, and you know, just get us a little bit more excited for Byleth to be in the game. But anyway, you guys, that's gonna be it for my reaction and thoughts video. If you guys have anything or you guys want to know anything, make sure to go in the comment section down below. Tell me what your thoughts are on Byleth and, and what you think. Uh, you, you, what do you agree with me? You disagree with me? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, be sure to follow my Twitter at Varathme. Uh, currently we're doing a giveaway for Dragon Ball Kakarot, and it's actually going really well. All you gotta do is go to this tweet, hit the like button, comment down below, or sorry, not comment down below, but hit the like button, retweet, and you're entered. And that's it. It's gonna be until tomorrow. So if you're watching this video on Friday, better hurry up because I'm going to be picking the winner very, very soon. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.